galaxy clusters are the most massive objects in the universe. <clears throat> there are several different components to a galaxy cluster, like this one behind me, named A2319. And each component can be studied with an observation at a particular wavelength of light. One such component are the uh, hundreds of galaxies uh, that can be seen uh, with optical or visible light telescopes. Seen here in black and white, most of these white flecks you see are galaxies, much like our own Milky Way. These galaxies are embedded in a very hot gas, hot enough to emit x-rays, which you can see in sort of pinkish purple. Throughout this hot gas, there are magnetic fields and there are very energetic particles called cosmic rays. These cosmic rays can interact with this hot x-ray emitting gas and magnetic fields to produce radio waves, which you can see in green. However, um, the origins of these cosmic rays are not very well understood. Where do they come from? How do they get accelerated to such high energies? How does the formation of a galaxy cluster affect um, this very energetic particle population? To address these questions, I use observations of galaxy clusters at different wavelengths to probe non-thermal emission, that is, emission from cosmic rays. In particular, I studied this cluster, A2319, in great detail. By combining X-ray and radio observations, I showed that the formation of this cluster over time, as traced by the X-ray emission, um, uh, as traced by the X-ray emission, um, really uh, affected the morphology of the observed radio emission, and therefore the um, the. Uh, um, underlying particle population of cosmic rays responsible for this radio emission. But where do cosmic rays actually originate? Uh, were they perhaps ejected from galaxies into the hot cluster gas? Or were they uh, accelerated by uh, cluster merger events? Or are their origins more exotic? One intriguing possibility is that um, dark matter might be responsible for uh, cosmic rays, at least in part. Dark matter makes about 80% of the mass in the universe, um, but can only be detected or, or can only uh, interact with um, normal matter via gravity and has not yet been detected by any telescope. So, um, so uh, understanding dark matter is really key to understanding how uh, the universe and all of the stuff in the universe came to be. By studying non-thermal emission from cosmic rays, I can therefore indirectly probe um, the nature of dark matter. Um, through my work on radio observations of, um, of, of clusters, I was able to constrain several potential models for what kind of uh, particle dark matter might be. And therefore, I might be able to help uh, explain these energetic and enigmatic processes. Mm -hmm.